Additional housing facility on Buffalo's east side is undergoing a transition now. Buffalo Halfway House has long been a place to help federal inmates prepare for life when they are outside of prison walls. Two on your side's Dave McKinley reports on the reasons why that is apparently now coming to an end. 14 men and women, some of them toting their belongings in garbage bags, were vacated from Buffalo Halfway House on Glenwood Avenue this morning, loaded on a bus bound for Pittsburgh. They are federal prisoners in the last months of their sentences assigned to the so-called Residential Reentry Center, a transitional way station of sorts for those soon to be released, allowing them to look for work, housing, and rebuild family and community ties. According to its website, Buffalo Halfway House has been doing this for more than 40 years, and a according to the Bureau of Prisons website, was contracted to serve up to 50 inmates at a time as one of nearly 100 of these centers across the country. When first contacted three weeks ago about their imminent closure, a member of the board of directors here indicated it was due to federal budget cuts. But two sources tell us that was not the case. According to the office of Congressman Brian Higgins, it was told by the Bureau of Prisons this facility was not in compliance with the Prison Rape Elimination Act, or PREA. And in an email to us, the Bureau of Prisons, while declining to answer questions, confirmed it was not renewing its contract due to Buffalo Halfway House's inability to become PREA compliant. It did not say how this place failed in its PREA requirements. No one at the office who we could clearly see through the window would answer our knock at the door to find out more. In the meantime, we found confirmation online that the Bureau of Prisons is trying to solicit another agency to open a halfway house in Buffalo and that it expects the process will take a year and a half to complete. The Bureau of Prisons would not say whether those bound for Pittsburgh today would be placed in another halfway house or returned to a federal lockup. And when we called the Buffalo halfway house to inquire about the fate of the 19 employees there who may be out of jobs, the person answering the phone offered only a terse no comment. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.